Welcome to an unboxing of the VN10 Recon Eagle. Sold by Hawker's Bazaar or someone like that online. Not seen many reviews on this, fancy one. Managed to pick it up from CEX for £13.50, including delivery. It's a feature pack drone, but with no FPV Wi Fi dinghy, it's just got an SD card order. All the features listed here in the box. Has green lights at the front, red at the back, unusually. Uh, silvery grey in colour. Quite a large drone, a bit bigger than a Seamer X15. Uh, it's got the weirdest shape controller as well. So, some features of the drone, as you can see, uh, tilting camera pointed out and stuff. Here's the drone itself in the packet. I'll go through it bit by bit. So, it's certainly not an X shape phantom engine, it's quite a nice stylish design. Uh, black props on a grey silver body. A USB to Samsung charger, which connects to the pod, just to the left of the drone there. And you slot the battery into the pod to charge it. It's a 3.7 volt, 750 milliamp hour battery. It should provide about 6 to 8 minutes of flight at the most, I believe. Batteries proprietary for inside the drone. You usually don't like that, but this pod thing's quite fun. You slot the battery into the pod, connect the mini USB into there and charge away. And um, yeah, that was quite a neat idea. Obviously proprietary, like I say. Don't want, not normally a big fan, but that's quite a good feature actually, it's quite neat. And um, battery slots in there, on and off switch just above it there at the back. <coughs> Underneath, not actual optical flow, but it is an altitude hold copter. And it's got a tiltable camera which you adjust by hand. Uh, before you take off and fly, you can't do it in flight. Moving on to the controller, the maddest one I've ever seen. Certainly inspired by the uh, Cloud City pod things on uh, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. It takes four AAA batteries to be each side. The control itself is very shiny back blast and it's uh, altitude hold as you can tell to turn into the middle. Well labelled in terms of um, filming and taking pictures, trim. Auto take off and auto land, I say auto take off, auto start. You actually have to lift the drone up to take it off. Moving on to the bank, as I said, it's second hand for purchase from CEX, even included the batteries, which is quite good. You ready to fly or what? Some spare props, a few other spare bits, um, and that pretty much completes the unboxing. As I said, with regards to the battery, it's in that pod thing. Once it's fully charged, it goes in the back. I'm going to switch on now, show the lights. You can see the red at the back, green at the front, quite bright, even in those frosted landing pods. Yeah, should be good this. Hopefully it will fly nice, I'll be flying it soon. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, maybe do a bit of filming with it. We'll see how terrible the camera is, usually is on a toy drone, even though they're supposed to be HD cameras. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks again, like and subscribe, speak to you soon.